back with another YouTube video. Um, I did some of the code because I was filming a video, the video, and uh, the code got deleted, so I did some of it. I'm just going to walk you guys through it. So we have on event, when the study button is clicked, it should set the screen to the study screen, and then we should make a var two variables called seconds and timer and time. So seconds, the variable is seconds equal to zero. And then variable time is equal to get number from the time input and multiply it by 60. The encoding, the star represents the x in multiplying. Then we get an if else block. And if the seconds is less than the time, we start the time the loop for 1000 milliseconds and then our variable again seconds is equal to seconds plus one and then set the property from the timer label its text color from the rbg which will just make it change colors from red to green to blue different shades one red one to 255 blue 1 to 255 green blue to uh, 1 to 255 and now we set the text on the timer label to seconds and now and then else is we have to stop the time loop and play a sound of your choice so the stop time loop will be in the control section and then we can play a sound um, and we can choose and then we can do any I'm gonna do a bell and um, I will do this sound and now we have to set it to false, which is what we want to do. So it's false. And then we need another on event for whenever the time loop is stopped. So we will do on event for the reset button is clicked we should stop the time loop. So let's get an on event button or loop. And then when the reset button, reset button is clicked, we should stop the time loop, which is also gonna be in control. And then we should do our variable, which is seconds is equal to v v zero. So let's do seconds equal to zero so um then we set the text to the time la label to seconds so that will be in ui controls set the text and the timer label but we don't need our quotes because it's going to take it as something other than a variable so variables don't need double quotes and then we can play another sound I'm going to do a different sound this time um let's do this one and we have to set it to false and that is it for the both of them let's see if the study works and um just do one because it takes it as a minute so it does not so if you type in one it's gonna do 60 seconds it's not gonna take it as one second so if we can press start and then 
we have to um, go we can close that other one and we have to go and do study and it's gonna take it as minutes so we have to like type one and it'll take it as minutes and it will start it'll go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen and it'll go all the way to sixty um i'm gonna wait for it but as we are waiting the link to our fir my first the first part which is the play button will be in the description and like and subscribe for more videos my next video is gonna be tomorrow so that will be stay tuned for that and um um we are go i'm going to be doing thunkable videos too so comment if you want thunkable videos and there is a problem with this um it like it glitches sometimes code.org is glitching is glitches sometimes so you might have to refresh your page and then it will work so bye guys and hope you like this video bye